Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share some top tips on how to make your lip scents last. So I think lip scents as a product is incredible but it's also a process. It's a process to get it to last but when it does it's amazing. I'm going to be leaving a link down to my blog post related to this video which has all of these um, items in a little bit more detail and also probably just worded so much better because I'm sure I'm going to miss loads of information out as well. So. My first tip is to clean and dry your lips properly. So I found out that using the Oops Remover as a primer before you put any product on is incredible because it gets off all that makeup and it just works so well and then I know my lips are clean. So I put, I put the Oops Remover on and then I wash it off, well I wipe it off with a wet washcloth and then I dry my lips thoroughly. Now I made the mistake of not drying my, like, like my inner lip um, properly first time and I found out that's called the waterline and my product would come off on that so make sure you dry that well. Second tip, shake up your lip scents. It needs shaking up for at least 30 seconds. I tend to do it for about a minute just to be on the safe side and that's to get all the particles of the colour evenly distributed. Third tip, apply in really thin layers. When I say wipe off the excess, I mean wipe off all the product that's on the brush because it's soaked into the brush. So when you wipe it all off, wipe it off on the side so it goes back into the bottle. Obviously you don't want to waste it. Um, when you wipe it off, it'll still have product on, don't worry. You'll actually, you'll see it going on so you'll know it's got product on. Um, so yes, wipe off the excess. <laughs> Number four, lip sense, well, sheer sense and senegents recommend waiting two to five seconds between each layer. I tend to wait 30 seconds. I like it to be completely dry in between and that way you know when you put the next layer on you're not going to wipe off the colour that's already on. On your third layer you want to wait for the, the, all of the colours to be completely dry. That way you just um, are sealing all the colour in rather than um, putting the gloss on before it's dry. So before you put the gloss on make sure it's fully dry, wait about a minute. I don't know if you've seen the videos, but everyone goes like this to dry it quicker. <laughs> I don't know if it helps, but I feel like it does, so maybe give that a go. <laughs> Number five, gloss, gloss, gloss. You want to gloss throughout the day, especially when you're first applying it. I recommend applying, applying um, every two hours, but I tend to do it every four hours because I forget. But you know when your lips start to feel a bit dry, you'll know you need gloss, so put the gloss on. Number six. For people starting out, make sure you use Glossy Gloss. People should be selling you Glossy Gloss in the starter kit. It, out of all the glosses, it moisturises the most and it's so good for your lips. It has vitamin E and, and shea butter in it, which both helps to moisturise and protect your lips. Number seven. When you first start using lip scents, your lips are going through an exfoliation process. Don't give up. <laughs> the exfoliation process happens to everyone, whether it lasts two days or two months. If it lasts more than two months, you're probably doing something wrong. So don't hesitate to reach out and ask me. I'll leave all my links below if that is the case. Um, but you are going through an exfoliation process. The lip colour should still do everything except the last length that you want it to. Um, I found that it still lasted 18 hours if I let it, but it just came off a bit at the waterline and at my outer edges. But um, everyone's a little bit different. So just, just hang in there, guys. Hang in there. <laughs> um... Number eight, to speed up the exfoliation a little bit, you can use a lip scrub. I wrote, I make my own lip scrub just with olive oil, um, sugar and honey. And I made a blog post about that ages ago, so I'll try and find that and link that below as well. But you can use any scrub. If you have a face scrub, just do a little bit on your lips. I tend to do that twice a week just to, because I don't think you need to do it every, every day but it does help and it makes it go on smoother. So at the end of the day, when I take my lip scents off with Oops Remover, I then, if they've got any little bits left on, it comes up with the scrub, or it comes off with the scrub, sorry, or it just it just adds a little bit of extra um, to help reduce the exfoliation period. I'm currently wearing Icicle, which you probably can't tell because it is literally a clear, but you apply it in the same way as the colours. And it is such a great colour to wear during the exfoliation process because it is clear and you can't see it going, you can't see it when it comes off. But also, but because it's still a colour, it's going, it's still helping you through the exfoliation process. So it still classes the exfoliation process, but no one can tell. So if you are 
worried about the exfoliation process and you don't want to for people to see the colour coming off. Icicle is a really good colour. It's also a good colour if you want to um, tone down um, certain colours. So, tip. <laughs> Number nine, when you go to bed you either need to wear the moisturising glossy gloss or you need to wear the moisturising lip balm. Both are from um, Sheer Scent Senegents and I sell them both. I have both in stock. And I wear, I personally wear the moisturising lip balm to bed just because I think it's a little bit more moisturising and I prefer the feel of it. Um, but that helps too. It also keeps your lips moisturised. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> Number 10. And my last and final tip. If you buy two colours, you have up to five colours. So, you have two colours. Each of them is applied in three layers. You can then mix and match colours. Mix and matching colours is incredible. So you can put one layer of one and then two layers of the other. You can put two layers of one and then one layer of the other. And also, you can put it in the opposite way. So if you can you can put two layers of this one first, then one layer of this one. Or you can put two layers of this one and then one layer of this one. Or you can put one layer of this one and then two layers of this one. So do you see you're switching the order? It makes different colours. I'll try and find a graphic and post it on Instagram at some point. Um, but I've seen people do it and I think it's so unique. You're literally making a colour that's just for you. Don't worry if the colour isn't the same as the colour that you expected. Everyone's skin colour is different, everyone lip, everyone's lip colour is different. So the colour, the lip colour will be different on everyone's lips. Don't freak out, that's how it's meant to be. Anyway, like I said, I'll have all these tips and more tips on my blog post linked down below. Um, I'm sure it'll be much worded much better, much more eloquently. Um, <laughs> and I'm not very good with my words in person, but on, on paper I feel like I'm okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I'll speak to you next time. Bye. Uh, wet, war a warm water, a warmly wet, warmly wet. I tend to do it for an hour, uh, an hour. <laughs> I don't do it for an hour. Number five. What number am I on? It, mo 